Let's take a look at some more specific training that you could be doing at this time of the training. This video is following on from last week's one, which also took a look at typical training that you could be doing in the spring period, which will really get you ready for the outdoor season. Now, this was a slightly different type of workout in that I wanted it to potentiate sprints and in particular, three lap timed 20 meter flies with a 10 meter split. So we did some downhill runs and drills specifically as a way to potentiate performance. Now potentiation means elevating the neuromuscular response of your body. And that can be done in numerous ways. But I have found that a very good way to do that is by using downhill drills where the body has to move quicker in order to effect the movements. We always start the session with some basic drills and you're seeing some of those on screen now. Now, if you're gonna use a downgrade, downhill, in order to elevate performance, you don't want it to be too steep. In fact, the one that we were using was potentially just a few degrees too steep. It really only needs to be one to two degrees, particularly if you're sprinting. So we began with some leg cycling drills and I instruct the athletes not to fight against the gradient, to let the gradient just turn their legs over as they accelerate down the hill. Then it was onto a low to high cycle. And you can see that some of the guys are having more difficulty keeping their leg speed going with the gradient. Some are trying to hold themselves back too much. Whereas you've really just got to let the gradient do its job, get into good positions, keep the rotation going and let the momentum build. Next we did some skipping drills and these ones are specifically alternate skips. Now ideally I want the athletes to go down the hill. Now that sounds obvious but I don't want them to elevate as they make their contacts. I want them to skip flatter and get the speed of contact elevated, quickened. Then it was on to some scissor bounds and you can hear that the foot contact is very sharp. Good, keep the feet going. Right, this is it, this is much better, good. They've really got to work those feet into the ground with a stiff ankle to get that reaction and also to enable them to keep up that rate of striding, that frequency. Some more frequency drills followed with these cyclical movements and rotational drills where the emphasis is on the hip pull and again, the gradient is going to make these movements quicker. So that's what it's all about. Higher hanger, higher, lift the legs up. At the end of this particular unit, we did some actual runs using the gradient and the objective was to build up to about 90%. And you can see that the frequency, the sound of the contacts is quick and that's what we're after. Relax. Now I've spoken about this in some other videos, however I'll say briefly here that a lot of overspeed training doesn't actually work in terms of generating increased speed. What it does however is get that potentiating benefit and also can particularly be beneficial for eccentric capacity. As Despite the best intention on the part of the athletes to run quickly down the hill or perform a drill quickly down the hill, there's going to be potentially a braking effect as they try to control their descent. Now that braking effect is eccentric as the muscles stretch in order to control the momentum. So we can get a transference, albeit an unseen and potentially unthought of transference eccentrically an eccentric transference which could benefit sprinting and in particular jumping. As when you hit the board, for example, in the long jump, the muscles will go on stretch before they recoil into, into the concentric action to get you off of the board. So the stronger you are eccentrically, the better you will be concentrically. And there's a lot of research that indicates as such. We then went onto the track to get ready for the timed runs. The athletes initially put their spikes on and did some build up runs, firstly to 90% and then to 100%. And then it was onto the free lap timed 20 meters, which as I've said, included a 10 meter split. Despite the weather beginning to get cool and a little bit of rain starting, 
quite a lot of the athletes ran very close to their personal bests and some actually achieved personal bests and we had for example some sub two second sprints 20 meters and one in particular from Abraham was 199 and he's 17 so that was a significant personal best for him. Now I'd like to think that that was due to the way that the session was constructed and the use of the downhill gradient and the potentiating benefits. I have done similar sessions like this in the past and have had similar results and the more I do it the more I'll be able to identify as to whether or not there really is a positive correlation. As usual, thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification icon and feel free to share this video amongst your fellow athletes and coaches as that will all help build the channel. And of course, good luck with your competitions and your training. And do help me help you by becoming a channel member or at least considering becoming a channel member. For as little as $1.99 a month or £1.99 a month, you can support the channel as a channel supporter and as I've said, help me help you make the content on this channel which is hopefully making you a better athlete and coach. I should just relax doing it. Good. Don't lift too high. Good. Down, 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 down. Prelap have just launched a new piece of kit. Now, this looks like the TX Junior Pros, the pyramids, yellow pyramids, that record the times as the athletes pass them. But what this one does, it actually gives you the command on your marks and sets the athlete off with a bang. So, it emits the sounds through a speaker built into it. It gives you a 10 second lead in once you press the set button and then randomly, within I think a two and a half second period, the gun will fire through the device to set you off. Now that triggers the system. So it's going to be a very accurate way to measure starts. If you want to find out more, then do get in contact with me. If you like the Jumps Squad merchandise that I often wear in these videos, then do check out the Spring Store. You'll see the products available underneath this video, for example, and I've launched a new backpack rucksack with the Jump Squad logo on it, so do check that out.